as your brother, I feel it's my duty to warn you. You worry too much. It's starting to show. And you never worry about anything. When we were seven, you jumped off the cliffs at Castle Rock. A hundred foot drop into the water. You were never afraid. There was nothing to be afraid of until you told father. The Lannisters, Lannisters don't act like fools. What if John Aaron told someone? But who would he tell? My husband. If you told the king, both our heads would be skewered in the city gates by now. Whatever John Aaron knew or didn't know, it died with him. And Robert will choose a new hand of the king, someone to do his job while he's up fucking bulls and hunting whores. Or is it the other way around? And life will go on. You should be the hand of the king. That's a none I can do without. The days are too long, the lives are too short. But they have the soft hearts of women. So long as I am your king, treason shall never go unpunished. Sir Illyn, bring me his head. <laughs> And in return for my son's loyalty. In the morning, I'll destroy my brother's army. When that's done, <coughs> Rathian and Stark will fight their common enemy together, as they have done many times before. Our two houses have always been close, which is why I am begging you to reconsider this battle. Negotiate a peace with your brother. Negotiate with Stannis? <laughs> you heard him out there. I'd have better luck debating the wind. Please bring my terms to your son. I believe we are natural allies. I hope he feels the same. Together, we can end this war in a fortnight. I told you who I am. Some dead man. I am the brother of Elia Martel. And you know why I've come all the way to this stinking shit pile of a city? For you? I'm going to hear you confess before you die. You raped my sister. You murdered her. You killed her children. Say it now and we can make this quick. Yeah. 
say it. You raped her? You murdered her? You killed her children. You haven't confessed. <clears throat> Say it. Say her name. Elia Martel. You raped her. You killed her children. Elia Martel. Who gave you the order? Who gave you the order? Say her name. You raped her. You murdered her. You killed her children. Say it. Say her name. Say it! Yeah. Uh. You uh. Elia Martel! Uh. I killed her children! Then I raped her! Uh. Then I smashed her head in like this! have made their will known. Tyrion Lannister, in the name of King Tommen of the House Baratheon, first of his name, you are hereby sentenced to death. I loved her. Who? Shay. Not Tyrion. Put down that crossbow. Murdered her. With my own hands. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. She was a whore. Say that word again. And what? You'll kill your own father in the privy? No. You're my son. Now, enough of this nonsense. I am your son, and you sentenced me to die. You knew I didn't poison Joffrey, but you sentenced me all the same. Why? Enough. We'll go back to my chambers and speak with some dignity. I can't go back there. She's in there. Are you afraid of a dead whore? Any last words, my lord? No. 
Now's the time. I was wrong. You're the Lord Commander. We all serve you. I'm sorry. Not only for this, for all I've done and said. I was wrong. My Lord, please, mercy. Mercy. I'll go, I will. Please. I'm afraid. I've always been afraid. There's women fighting for him. I don't fight for the Boltons. I'm Brienne of Tarth. I was Kingsguard to Renly Baratheon. I was there when he was murdered by a shadow with your face. You murdered him with blood magic. I did. In the name of Renly of House Baratheon, first of his name, rightful king of the Andals and the First Men, lord of the Seven Kingdoms and protector of the realm, I, Brienne of Tarth, sentence you to die. Do you have any last words? Go on, do your duty. the king. Elsewhere, I'm afraid. What's the meaning of this? I was told that... Well, I have more important things to do with my time than waste them in Please, the presence... Please, Grand Maester, I bear you no ill will. Please forgive me if you can. Whatever your faults, you do not deserve to die alone in such a cold, dark place. But sometimes before we can usher in the new, the old must be put to rest. Thank <laughs> you. 
You love her. You really do love her. You poor fool. She'll be the end of you. Possibly. Not much to be gained from discussing it with you, though, is there? What better person to discuss it with? What better guarantee could you have that the things you say will never leave this room? But perhaps you're right. If she's driven you this far, it's gone beyond your control. Yes. It has. She's a disease. I regret my role in spreading it. You will too. I think we're done here. How will it happen? Cersei had several ideas. Whipping you through the streets and beheading you in front of the Red Keep. Flaying you alive and hanging you from the walls of King's Landing. I talked out of those. Will there be pain? No, I made sure of that. That's good. I'd hate to die like your son, clawing at my neck, foam and bile spilling from my mouth, eyes blood red, skin purple. Must have been horrible for you, as a king's guard, as a father. It was horrible enough for me, a shocking scene. Not at all what I intended. You see, I'd never seen the poison work before. Tell Cersei. I want her to know it was me. You stand accused of murder. You stand accused of treason. How do you answer these charges? Lord Baelish. My sister asked you a question. Lady Sansa, forgive me. I'm a bit confused. Which charges confuse you? Let's start with the simplest one. You murdered our aunt, Lysa Arryn. You pushed her through the moon door and watched her fall. Do you deny it? I did it to protect you. You did it to take power in the Vale. Earlier, you conspired to murder John Arryn. 
You gave Lysa tears of lease to poison him. Do you deny it? Whatever your aunt might have told you, she was a troubled woman. She imagined enemies everywhere. You had Aunt Lysa send a letter to our parents telling them it was the Lannisters who murdered John Arryn, when really it was you. The conflict between the Starks and the Lannisters, it was you who started it. Do you deny it? I know of no such letter. You conspired with Cersei Lannister and Joffrey Baratheon to betray our father, Ned Stark. Thanks to your treachery, he was imprisoned and later executed on false charges of treason. Do you deny it? I deny it. None of you were there to see what happened. None of you knows the truth. You held a knife to his throat. You said, I did warn you not to trust me. You told our mother this knife belonged to Tyrion Lannister. But that was another one of your lies. It was yours. Sansa, I have known you since you were a girl. I've protected you. Protected me? By selling me to the Boltons? If we could speak alone, I can explain everything. Sometimes when I'm trying to understand a person's motives, I play a little game. I assume the worst. What's the worst reason you have for turning me against my sister? That's what you do, isn't it? That's what you've always done. Turn family against family, turn sister against sister. That's what you did to our mother and Aunt Lysa, and that's what you tried to do to us. Sansa, please. I'm a slow learner. It's true. But I learn. Give me a chance to defend myself. I deserve that. I am Lord Protector of the Vale, and I command you to escort me safely back to the Eyrie. I think not. Sansa, I beg you. I loved your mother since the time I was a boy. And yet you betrayed her. I loved you. More than anyone. And yet you betrayed me. When you brought me back to Winterfell, you told me there's no justice in the world, not unless we make it. Thank you for all your many lessons, Lord Baelish. I will never forget them. <laughs>